हेलो वेलकम स्टूडेंट यू आर वाचिंग अ फिजिक्स क्लास ऑन चैप्टर थ्री नेम फोर्स ओके तो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लेट मी इंट्रोड्यूस ऑन द फोर्स व्हाट डू यू मीन बाय फोर्स फोर्स इज डिफाइंड एज द पुश और पुल सो दैट द ऑब्जेक्ट और एनीथिंग मेक देम टू मूव टू मेक देम स्टॉप द मूविंग बॉडी और टू चेंज द डायरेक्शन ऑफ ए मोशन ओके दिस मीन दैट फोर्स इज डिफाइंड एज पुश पुश और पुल सो वट वट माइट बी हैपन वट आर द डिफरेंट एग्जाम्पल्स ऑफ सिचुएशन इन विच ए फोर्स इज अप्लाइड सपोज वी पुश ए पिन इन टू ए बोर्ड और पुल इट टू गेट इट आउट we can change the direction in which a cricket ball is moving by hitting it with the help of bat we can also change the shape of an object suppose such as chapati da by squeezing a toothpaste okay or stretching it so these are the various examples of what situation in which a force is applied next is the what are the various effect of force so there are there are various effect of force number 1 is a force can move a object which is at rest as for example suppose uh, when we kick a football that is uh, rest when we apply a force on a football then it begins to what move in the same way when we pull a luggage or trolley it moves on its wheels okay second is the a force can stop a moving body so when we, uh, when a body a uh, moves and we uh, we apply the force on it in the direction of the motion of object then it can stop the moving object as for example suppose when we catch a ball or our hand apply a force on the ball to stop its movement third point is the force can change the speed of a moving object suppose if the force is applied in the same direction as the movement of the object then it moves what faster if you apply it in the opposite direction then the speed of an object will be decrease i mean slow down okay so as for example suppose if we pedal harder so that we can so that we can make the bicycle to move faster so pressing a brake if we press the brake by applying a force on a wheel in the opposite direction then the speed of the cycle will slow down okay so next is the speed can a force can also uh, change the direction of the moving motion of a moving object this happens when the force is applied in a direction from direction different from the direction of the motion object for example suppose the direction of the motion of tennis ball changes when it is hit with a racket final one is the force can change the size and shape of an object when we squeeze or and stress a lump of clay then we can um, uh, we can change it into any shape okay in the same way when we squeeze a sponge uh, to ring it then uh, we have to apply a force so have to lengthen it or compress it okay so based on its effect a force can be defined as the push or pull that changes or uh, tends to the change the speed of rest or of the uniform motion of an object or maybe the change the shape of a body okay but you must keep in mind that a force does not change the mass of an object okay so today i have already uh, discussed on the definition of force and the various effect of force okay so next is the what are different types of force what is the different types of force the different types of force are can be the two types contact force and non contact force so contact force means the forces which act between object force which act between object such that they are in contact with each other okay are called contact force as for example suppose muscular force frictional force so muscular force means it is the force which is applied on an object by the 
body muscles as for example suppose if you want to lift a bag or push a chair then you have to apply a force with the help of your body okay so next is the a uh, frictional force so frictional force is the force that act between the surface of object in contact and opposite the motion of one surface against the other frictional force act on object whose surface are in contact with each other if an object moves over another one then it act in the direction of opposite to the direction of the motion okay so now next is the uh, non contact force non contact force means the force which act between the object that are not in contact with each other are called non contact for example suppose gravitational force magnetic force and electrostatic force so gravitational force means uh, the gravitational force is the force of attraction that act between any two object in the universe universe that have mass all object exert this force on each other as for example suppose uh, an apple fall from a tree so apple the fall from a tree is this is due to the uh, gravitational force in the same way uh, when a ball is thrown upward in, in the air then it again come back to the ground so these are the all these are the examples of a gravitational force okay so you must keep in mind it is a force of the earth that can attract any object towards itself is called what gravitational force this means that earth and the object they are not in contact okay but it attract towards itself clear next uh, here you must be keep in mind that weight depend on the gravity so the weight of the earth on the weight of an object on the earth it is a force which with which it is attracted by the earth so therefore weight can carry unlike mass the weight of an object is different on planet that have stronger or weaker gravitational forces than the earth okay the gravitational forces of the earth is six time greater than the that of the moon suppose if your weight is a uh, six 60 kg on the earth then your body weight will be the will be the i think so 10 kg on the moon okay six times clear you must keep in mind next is the magnetic force a magnetic force is a uh, non contact force in which the iron i mean the magnet can attract the uh, magnetic materials okay so this means that it is the force of the attraction or a repulsion that act between the two magnet or magnet and another magnetic material and you also keep in mind that magnet has a two pole namely north pole and south pole so opposite pole attract each other and uh, like pole repel each other okay so next is the electrostatic force electrostatic force if you support touch the screen of an old style tv or computer that had been switched off then you must you may hear the cracking sound and get the small shock okay this is because the body is what uh, object are electrically charges so there are two type of electrical charges namely positive and negative most object are electrically neutral because they have because they are the eco positive and equal negative charges are what equal so therefore they are the electrically neutral okay but they can become charged under certain condition under certain condition means when the transfer of electron take place then or maybe suppose some object may gain electron or some object may lose electron so in this way they acquire positive charge and or negative charge respectively okay so when the opposite charge are there then they attract with each other okay if they are have the same charge then they repel each other so the force that electrically charge exert on each other is called what electrostatic force suppose as for example when you rub a plastic comb against our dry hair the comb becomes what charge if we hold it near that small pieces of paper the pieces stick to the comb because 
of the electrostatic force of attraction. So these are all the non-contact force. So I hope so you understand very clearly. In the next class, we will discuss on the measurement of force. Okay. So see you in the next class. Okay. Bye bye.